everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as Nurse with the Difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for students. Today we are going to be talking about how to answer pharmacology questions. You get into the exam hall, they give you some classes of drugs, they ask you what is the class of these drugs, what is the mechanism of action of these drugs, what is the dosage. Sometimes we are stuck and we don't know what to do and we end up leaving the full pharmacological question blank. But remember our rules as nurses lecturing students, we don't what? We don't leave the book blank. So today I'm going to be giving you useful tips on how to answer pharmacological questions in such a way that instead of you to get zero mark, you should get at least half mark. These tips are for those that don't understand. You enter the hall, you are confused. You don't know what to do. So this is the tip for you. Just write it. Instead of you to get zero mark, at least you should get half or quarter mark. Remember the rules to remain. Don't leave the book blank, no matter how difficult the question is. But before we go into the test on this class, please, if you are new on our YouTube channel, kindly click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification button so you don't miss out. Let's go there. Right, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today we are going to be talking about how to answer pharmacological question. And this particular question on the board is a May, May 2020 paper 2. Yeah, May 2020 paper 2, I derived this question from. So it's going to be a guide for us on how to answer pharmacological question. But generally, let's overlook this thing. You got into the examination hall and you saw something like, using the guidelines right on the drugs, the class, action dosage, route of administration, indication, control indication, nursing consideration, and side effects. All these take half, half, half mark each. That's what you know. All these take what? Half, half mark each. So, for example, my name is Miss Mary. I got into the examination hall. I am stopped. I hate pharmacology. What do I do? My exams is made. What do I do? I'm already in the exam hall. Let us assume I'm already in the exam hall. And instead, I should write um, about digoxine, simetidine, ranitidine, and all that. What I would do at first is to check the class of the drugs. Do I really know the class of the drugs? Sometimes, if you don't really know the class of the drugs, there's nothing you can do about it. But I'm going to be using this digoxine as an example. So in terms of class, digoxine belongs to the digitalis. But when you get to the exam hall, you don't know what to write. This class is out of the radar. We can ignore that. Then you get to the action, you have no idea about the action because what the fact is, when you don't know the class of a drug, you don't know the action of the drug. But generally, this um, digoxine, they help to treat heart failure. They help to increase the contractility of the heart so that the heart will be able to pump blood. That's what they usually do. Then the dosage is between, depends on the situ situation. It could be atrial fibrillation, depends on what is going on. You can have 0 0.125 milligram to 0 0.25 milligram. It all depends on what you are being sorted out. And sometimes 0 0.5 milligram can be given. So this, 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 you might be stuck. This is half mark, this is half mark, this is half mark. One and a half mark is already gone. You are stuck because let's assume you don't know it, you don't have, have any idea. So you come to route of administration. At least you know the various routes of administration of drugs, right? So it's not the situation. Most drugs they are given orally. So it's just for you to write oral, oral routes. Most drugs generally they are given orally. Just few that has just IV and uh, IM with no oral administration. Um, so most times when I see routes of administration, I write orally. I can't leave that blank. At least that should give you half mark. Then if you have idea that okay, these drugs can be given IV or IM, you can actually write IV or IM. You get. But generally, like most percent of the drugs you see in the example, they are given what they are given orally. Then the other one, indication. Indication is like the mechanism. How? What is it um, used for? What is that particular drugs used for? Like I earlier said, digoxin is used to treat what? It is used to treat heart failure. So the fact is let's not be like let's not be skeptical about it if you don't know the class you don't know the action you don't know the dosage definitely you are not going to know the indication so two marks is already gone 
let's assume two marks is already gone but at least you've been able to write the roots of administration as orally then when it comes to contrary indication i see this thing as one of the easiest um heading to describe a drug because contrary indication anybody sensitive to that particular drug should not take it that's always my contraindication in the example. No matter, even if it's haloperidol, ceftriazole, cefurosino, contraindication. Anybody, any patient sensitive to the substance of digoxin should not take it. Any patient sensitive to the substance of haloperidol should not take it. That's contraindication. So I don't need to start thinking about the big, big contraindication. I think that contraindication is enough for you. Anybody sensitive to a particular drug or reacts adversely to a particular drug should not take it. So you've gotten your half mark for contraindication. Then nursing consideration, what do you consider? The fact is most times we are stuck. Instead of you to leave the book blank, you can tell us that, oh, the nurse should consider that to, the nurse should make sure that, okay, it's the right patient, the right route. We all know the five rights of, um, five rights of drugs, right? Right route, right patient, right dosage. You just use it to make a sentence. You get that the nurse should cons make sure that the, the drugs is given at the right time, at the right time, is given to a particular patient at the right time through the right route. You get so these are the things you should just put instead of you to what leave the book blank. But the fact is, generally, most drugs have um, a particular indication where you give, um, they, they have a particular consideration. But in such a case where you don't know that particular consideration, you can form a sentence with the five rights of drugs as nursing consideration. Then the other is side effect. The fact is. Almost all drugs, their side effect is nausea and vomiting. Forget the part fact that 10,000 of people are going to write it. Instead of you to leave the book blank, write the nausea and vomiting. You get, you have to write what the nausea and vomiting. Nausea and vomiting is a common nursing, uh, is a common side effect of most drugs. So instead of you to just come to the example and leave all these things blank because you don't know the class, you don't know the action, you don't know the dosage, it's better for you to write the, the root of administration, indication, um, contraindication, nursing consideration, and side effect, which is four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. At least four tips are correct. That's two. Four tips are wrong. So if you are able to write those two, pro, those those ones, one, two, three, four correctly, definitely you have half of the mark and not full mark. We are not deceiving you here. I'm just trying to give you a clue on how to go about it. But if finally you have idea, please write the class. Please write the action, the dosage, and most times just guess. Don't leave it blank. Just guess. Do a guesswork. Do what? Do a guesswork and put it there. It might not give you the appropriate mark, but at least it is better for them to see something in case they want to consider at all. They should see something to consider and write. Okay, let's give a quarter. Not that you don't write anything and you are expecting a mark. It's not possible. Do get so that is why sometimes you just guess. You might guess right rather than what leaving the book blank. So if I say in such a case, in exam condition, and you've gotten roots of administration, contraindication, nursing consideration, and side effects. Do we get now? So that is what you should take notes when answering pharmacological questions. And sometimes when you see anything that ends with like ceftriaxone, ceftriaxone, cefuroxine, ampicillin, amoxicillin, all those silin, 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 gentamicin, they all belong to the antibiotic class. They are all, they are all anti- Biotics. So for you to understand these drugs properly, for those that want an in-depth knowledge of these drugs, I think we made a video on some classes of drugs like uh, peptic ulcer drugs, antihypertensive drugs. You can watch those videos and you can also follow us on our Telegram platform to ask questions about drugs, to ask us about the class and all everything you need to know about the particular drugs and get answers to it. This is just like a clue on how to write it. I'm not saying this is going to give you full mark. Don't don't that don't judge me wrong don't quote me wrong don't quote me anyway what i'm trying to let you know is that this can help you instead of you to get zero back at least you should be able to get one or two mark rather than nothing at all that's why i'm giving you this clue because most students they enter the hall and leave the book blank this is what i normally use in the example when i don't know the class and i don't know what to write i do some guesswork but my nursing consideration contraindication indication and side effects are taken into um, consideration properly i hope this video helped you understand this it's just a clue please and please i'm not saying this is the format this is just a clue when you are stranded in the examination hall so thank you very much for staying tuned
thank you very much for watching our video don't forget to like don't forget to drop your questions in the comment section or send a message to the whatsapp number and don't forget to share with a friend if you got value see you in our next video bye